And my boys, welcome back. Today's episode is the episode. It is the shits. All right, already demonetized. And today's episode is looking good. We moved to the red zone. Got a little juicy, slight juice, medium to mid rare juice raid. And a wrap. Let's go into the pink. As we get ready to move into the pink and set up a decent sized crafting station back there, I wanted to say thank you to the people on screen and also thank you to everyone else who commented and subscribed and stuff like that. And also, my boys, to all the homies that are subscribed, you can ignore this next four seconds. To the other 84.9, y'all are trifling. What is this nonsense? Y'all are saying all these nice things in the comments, but 84% of you ain't even real. No, I'm just joking. No, for real. Not really. Help your brother out. Please. But here we are. Me and Blue are getting ready to move into the pink zone. I'm going to do a little bit of speed run as we build the crafting station. Because this crafting station, we built it kind of slow. We also built it in single player first to see how we wanted to do it. Um, we wanted to try to get it as far as we could up against the back wall. Just so the indies wouldn't like LOS too much. We wanted our turrets to see out of where like the area was just in case someone did come back there early um we wanted to make sure we weren't gonna like get ran up from the back obviously we have a couple side views a couple los side like on the left and the right um but we weren't really too worried about that we were just trying to focus on the big one we didn't want to like i said put it in the middle which i didn't say that but we didn't want to put it in the middle because los and stuff like that so we put it up against the back and it takes a little bit to build i think it took over like 30 minutes to build um and I just wanted to like kind of jump cut some things and speed through it and talk over it rather than just kind of put music behind it and just it'd be way too long it'd just be way too long and a lot to do so uh the crafting station though is three indies i think it's like four fabricators two chem benches that's not the best crafting station in the world of course um it does end up expanding later and i believe in the video I, th I believe it expands a little bit more we end up expanding it i just don't know if i put it in this video um or not but uh we end up going to like six nds but as of right now i think it's three and it, it looks pretty good though we got the vaults to drop so they sit right underneath the forges and the two generators on the left and the right hand side of the thing those pillar up electrical wires all underneath the foundations and inside the pillars going up so they can't be flame arrowed and that runs up to a box of electrical that's all boxed in so you can't see anything up there the reason why we did it like this is one we didn't have tech gen yet so um, without having tech gen, or tech gen back there, we really did not want to take any chances of anything getting flame arrowed, so we make sure we box every electrical in, and I believe once we get a tech gen, we actually end up destroying all that top portion view, so I don't think LOS is anything. Um, and it, it looks a lot better, we start putting more netting over and everything like that, but as of right now, the crafting station, it, we just wanted to make sure no flame arrows got through, and we wanted to make sure all our heavies were powered, and you know, we had backup generators, so that was pretty much that. But with that crafting station being done, it was time to go farm some element, so let's go try to work on that. Oh shit, it's a mail run. Where? Two people just joined uh, at the same time. Metal run. Well, Blue, we are over half now from our rep. I don't know if you're still here and you can hear me. Sadly. He's oh. We're still, we have 30 element on us, plus 24. That's 54 element. We're over half. Can't wait to feed our gotchas the rep. Yes. Oh, gotcha. God. Really gonna <laughs> produce us some good stuff. Alright. Let me do dot. Oh. With all the element farmed and ready to make a rep, let's go back to the red zone base. Me and Blue and get this thing craft up. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? It's boiled while we were. Oh my god. Why are you cooking? Okay, we're good. Why not? You don't want it? Alright, alright, alright. You're right. You're right. You're right. Alright, cool. 
I'm right, I'm always right. Alright, just whatever you do, make sure there's enough gas in here that the bitch don't turn off by accident. Make sure we don't right, click we it. Make sure it's on. Okay, are you turning it on or am I turning it on? I'm turning it on. Alright, go. And you can craft it. I'll turn it on, right, you craft. Turn it on. Go ahead. Alright, craft, I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, I'm turning it off. <laughs> I'm gonna take the gas. Yes, dude. Finally, we got it. Alright, now let me let me place that. Let me place the chocolate. Do we just start eating the electronics or start eating the element then or what? I mean, what else do you guys just gonna put one LE in every time? We have three element. I can always go farm more. We have 11 element. Well, I know. I was that way in case you guys actually right, well, yeah. it on. It doesn't burn all your LE. No, we'll just start eating the element. It's fine. <laughs> well, let me place it. Oh, God. Above it, maybe? No. How's that look? There's a little walkway behind here. Okay, enough for a walk. You can put beds behind there. I don't know what the point of that is, but okay. You can put daddy storages behind there. Now, unfortunately, I was not recording us getting pregnated by the Reaper Queen, but I do have it the recording of me hatching, or would it be hatching? Or would it be giving birth to the reaper so it ended up coming out with decent stats i can't exactly remember the stats off the top of my head but i want to say they were semi decent um they were okay stats i would think for like a 210 reaper i think is what it was um we end up using this reaper later in the video and um this one or a different one i can't exactly remember we end up taking it to extinction to hit up this quetz raid and we'll get into that in a minute but this was like i said the reapers rad zone crafting station it, we're going through fast we're, we're, we're juicing through these videos pretty decently um and it, it's it's going great all right now it's time to head to the raid i do believe my microphone was messed up a little bit so i'm just going to play through if you guys don't know this tactic because some people find it really scumbaggish um but there really is a super easy way to kind of react that what we're doing and that's simply just placing some heavies on the ground that's that's pretty much it having a decent amount of ground turns on the ground once the quetzal goes up the ground turns will shoot unfortunately for these guys they did not have any heavy turns on the ground or even like autos on the ground so the quetzal was able to just kind of fly up right in there and then obviously nick being inside the quetzal made it super easy for him to yoink some c4 onto the wall and one thing led to another we got in we're taking the whole wall down. Not just one, the whole bitch only, down. I only brought six. Hey, load them all. Hey, 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 load them all. Fuck nope, it. Nope, nope, nope. All right, now we gotta get down. Now we gotta get down. Get the fuck out of here. All right, now we gotta go down. Okay. Down to the right. Down to the right. Down to the right. Okay, down to the right. This raid actually ended up doing us really well. Uh, we managed to get a gas bag and two really good FFA manas out of this. Having some extra FFA manas is always a good thing, especially when they carry 117 saddles on them. So. With us not being from Extinction and us getting some decent saddles, it's uh, it's in our favors. And we also got a bunch of electronics, a bunch of cementing pays, and a bunch of other stuff. But and unfortunately, the bolt count we did not um, invest in destroying the heavies. We felt like the guy could just go pick up his heavies if he wanted to move back. The bolt, the turrets didn't have, or the heavies didn't have that many bolts in them anyways, so it was no point. But we got a decent amount, and the loot. I mean, it's, it's it went pretty well. Alright boys, so with the raid under our belts, it's time to go do an Ellie vein with the loot that we just got, but I am going to talk over this whole portion of the Ellie vein and not put our comms in, just because I actually have something serious to talk about, and I wanted to talk about it with you guys. Um, first things first, thank you guys so much, I say it every video, thank you guys so much for watching all these videos, you guys are killing it, and on the views, the comments, and everything, and the ratings, it's absolutely nuts is that this series will be coming to an end. It'll be coming to an end pretty shortly, actually. A lot sh sooner than I hoped. Um, we ended up getting raided not too long ago, and our base is completely foundation wiped. The only thing we have left is a TP, a generator, two sleeping pods, a set of flak, and I make a heavy and a tech turret. That's literally all we have. Uh, my character has been sitting in a tech pod for a couple days, just getting as many levels as I can until the generator runs out of uh, fuel. So, with that being said, most of our tribe quit too like well most of our tribe quit i believe it's just me and michaela that are left in the tribe most of them went to different games such as like russ or cs or anything like that so i wanted to get your guys' opinion on what you think we should do next my options that i think that i think that are decent are to start back up but on a different map of course because i feel like people don't want to watch ab since they've been already watching ab two we could go to mts and we can record there with the tribe once the beginners come out 
or three find a new tribe and try to do a big tribe series rather than a solo series um, those are the options on the table that I think if you guys have better options or maybe some better opinions on what we could actually do I'd love to hear them down in the comment section below um, but I know a lot of people subscribed for this series and I know a lot of people wanted to see more arc official and you guys are enjoying the content just by I can tell by the like ratio um, so I want to continue doing something that people will like rather than just you know dropping it and not saying anything so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below i appreciate you guys for coming out and watching just like a really good video and that's it boys that's all i got for you today later